morning. Yep, it's a beautiful fall morning for soybeans. Maybe not. Rain days sure are fun. One thing about it, this leg's a heck of a lot easier to clean out than the other one. Watch yourself, Dad. Well, we do still have a couple of trucks loaded from the other day. We're gonna dump those. It's been raining pretty good the last couple days, so finally quit. So that's why we wanted to clean out that leg boot. Wanted to double check, make sure we weren't having water issues like we had last week when it rained. I think we're good. BJ's dumping that truck pretty easy. But basically that leg boot, we try to clean that out, you know, sporadically. We probably should clean it out once a week. But that one is way easier to clean out than the other one at the older grain bins. The older grain bins, the leg is down in a hole harder to get to, pain in the butt. We do have a special delivery coming today, so kind of cleaning up, waiting on it to get here. It's coming to this location, so it should be here any time. Hope so, it's closes in on lunchtime. Better move my truck. Got the Thunder Chicken back there. Don't want BJ to run over it. It is a good looking semi though. I really like the way that 680 looks. And so far, it rides like a Cadillac. It runs pretty darn good too. Hopefully that'll last a while. See dad's truck over there, let's see what he's doing. And he left. Hey, I got lunch. Chips. <laughs> Chips and coffee grounds, but no water. There's water in there. Oh, well we can have coffee with our chips then. Huh. Well, I guess this is the delivery, but this is not what the tracking info said. All right, so maybe this was the package that was coming today. She's a real beaut, BJ. It'll be an honor to catch her aim. I might even let you drive it. Yeah, right. I'd rather you drive this one than mine. What is that? It's a rubber. Yep. See, you should buy it just for the ladder alone. If you're new to the channel, we did run one of these in 2018. But to be honest, I don't know if I remember how to run it. Uh, pro I think we harvested right around 100 acres with one, but Dad and I probably only actually set in the seat. Maybe like 20 acres apiece. So. Don't have a lot of time in a fence. Really looking forward to uh, running that plot with it, getting some time in the seat. Um, like I say, a combine is something that is in our future, uh, probably in the next year or two. So really looking forward to you know getting some get some acres with that one. <clears throat> All right, let's check this thing out. Ooh, get the refrigerator. It's a good option to have. Now this ideal is not brand new. This is a marketing unit that Agco uses. So I don't really know where this one has been. Uh, it was picked up in Illinois and then brought here. This combine is here for the crop tour plot. That is what's going to harvest that plot. They also delivered a 12 row corn head for it. So yeah, should be pretty exciting. So we're at least going to run 45 acres with it. That's how big that field is. And yeah, should be some, should be some good times. I'm, I'm super excited to, to be in one of these again. I don't remember how to run it, otherwise we'd uh, try to get some bonus acres in right now. I figure the first step is this. Now one thing that's nice, this armrest is very similar to our uh, to our Challengers. Pretty much the, the same other than this joystick. This part's a little different. Welcome to the Batmobile. Go ahead and hook up the corn head and I'll give you card. Hey, looky there. We bumbled our way into the hour meter. 400 engine hours and 245 separator hours. See if we can't get that up to 345 before they get here. Yeah. All right, let's head over to the other grain bins. Dad just sold some grain, so I guess we got to get ready to haul grain out tomorrow. Wonder how much water we're going to be vacuuming out of there. Fun times. Guess we can unhook the thunder. We don't need to. We don't need to bring the thunder. 
I love that feature. Worth every penny. Dad is hooking up to the dump trailer. I wonder what that means. That must mean a mess is my guess. Apparently we need that to clean up dryer screenings. So we got the little sassy massy acting as a wheelbarrow. And yeah, we got these dryer cleanings under here. We have not cleaned these but one time this year, so so far this dryer has dried around eh, probably around 40,000 bushel of corn, so that's uh that's the screenings from under it. And some actual corn, got a little bit of a hole over there. Stuff makes great chicken feed, so I'm sure George will be down here with a bucket here in a little bit. George is a chicken farmer, if you guys didn't know. I think they got I think they got seven in their flock. And he's cheap, so uh, he'll be using that for feed. Good quality cracked corn. Good chicken feed. Got it, Jack. We had cattle. We used to feed it to the cattle as a snack in the winter. Got my cousin Ben. He's coming to get the corn. We got all the fines pretty well sweeped up. But one thing about these fines, if we don't sweep them up, it does become dangerous. They get very slippery. And it's just easier to keep this place clean if we keep on top of that. Tasty. That came out of that hole. That came out of the leg pit. Probably saved his life, but we did it with a vacuum. He survived though. Here comes the fearless deer hunter. All right, action. All right, I guess we're gonna call it, uh, call it quits for today. It's not really a rainy day, but it's been misting all day. Just a miserable day. So, tomorrow we are going to haul some corn here and at the other facility. And then maybe, maybe we'll try some corn tomorrow. Maybe it'll be the next day, I don't know. But we're probably just gonna wrap this into, into tomorrow. So we're gonna snap into tomorrow. I've seen the millennial do this. I've seen him show Welker how to do this. I'm a little disappointed he didn't show me how to do it when I was there, but let's. He said you gotta warm it up. Huh, it worked. All right, Zach, you give a great YouTube tutorial, apparently. I figured we'd come over here this morning. I had to check the Batmobile. Also, I gotta come over here and get that semi. We're gonna haul corn out of the other grain facility. Gotta move the trucks over there. And yeah, hopefully we can come back and check this thing out some more tonight. It is awful wet, but the sun's supposed to come out. It's supposed to get up to 70 degrees today, so that should help dry things out. After more time than I'm comfortable with admitting of drilling over that, Let's go back to work. What do you think, Squishy? I'm trying to fatten him up before winter. As many of you have pointed out, he might lose a fight with a rat unless he gets a little bit, you know, thicker. He's just a little guy. But he's vicious. He's vicious. Okay, just getting here to the elevator. We are hauling these loads out of the bins on this rain day. We got a pretty good price right now. Our grain marketing guy said, yeah, probably a good idea to move some corn if you can. So here we are. No lines. Haven't been a lot of lines this year. I don't know if everyone's built grain bins or if the yields this year have just been down so much that there's just not a not a line. Could be a combo of both. Have you seen the TikTok where the guy is on his skateboard and like uh, he's drinking like a so yeah, go ahead and follow BJ on TikTok. He's quite the TikToker. Once every two months, I'll post a video. You can see his creative side. So we're over here coring these bins. We do this as we fill them throughout the year. We will take a load or two out of the centers of them. Basically, in the center of the bin, that's where all the stuff that's real fine falls, prevents good airflow from getting up through that grain, which is what causes spoilage. So we just took three loads out of this bin. We're going to take a couple loads out of this bin. Right now, those are the only two that have enough corn in them to do this. So, yeah, that's why we're doing this. Plus, it makes a little bit of extra storage. we got five more thousand extra storage bushels going forward. So, yeah, that's why we're doing this. Try to do this on rain days. It just hasn't rained that much this fall. This is the first time this fall we haven't been able to harvest for a couple days. Now, we've got all we can, we're going to get out of this bin. Now, we're moving to this one. This one has a side, uh, side auger. These are terrible, but 
That's what we got. Tire pressure good. Oh yeah. Right, I had to run home. Got a bunch of packages, so let's take them over to the bins. Got little dude with me. Ready to go? Where we at working, man? Yeah. All right, let's go. Dax, what's that combine look like? The Batmobile. The what? The Batmobile. The Batmobile? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's right. He's talking about the ideal. Looks like the Batmobile. <laughs> but now the Batmobile's all opened up. Oh, looky there. The air seeder's back. This is the air seeder that we planted our wheat with. It is here for a uh, cover crop trial. This is all going on with this tillage trial, so they brought it back to plant some cover crops. It said the tractor that was pulling it did get sold, so it's going to be pulled by this 1042, which is also going to pull the vertical tillage tool as well as the chisel plow. Ready to get out? Yeah. All right, let's go. Derek, our ag co rep, he's over here unhooking it. Basically, we're not ready for the cedar yet. I think we're going to put that tractor on our grain cart. Basically, just while we film the crop tour plot, like I say, this is Agco's crop tour plot that we're doing it with this combine. And for video's sake, they want a fit tractor beside their fit combine, which makes sense to me. Wow. Look at Pap's new tires. Wow. Man, he got fancy tires. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty good looking tires. What a brand they are. Never heard of them. Mm -hmm. Hercules. Knowing Dad, they're the cheapest ones he could find, bub. Dad? Huh? You wore a Lexion shirt while the Agco guys are here. They said they didn't really care. Oh. Little people wanted to go for a quick ride, so we got Speed Racer back there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 in the ditch for a mud hole, we did. And we got a lot of fun, exciting stuff going on right now. We got a couple of Agco guys here adjusting the sunflower. They're leveling it, getting it field ready. This is a brand new uh, tillage unit, so it's not been leveled or anything. We got a couple of other Agco guys over there in the crop tour plot. They are measuring off some stuff, getting it ready to harvest tomorrow. Got a little bit of a surprise coming for you tomorrow on that harvesting part of it. Um, got some guys looking at the combine, making sure it's all ready to go. A lot of cool stuff happening. There is so much Agco equipment in this yard right now, you'd think we were an Agco dealer. Echo guys are finishing switching this from soybeans to corn. It was running beans the last time, but we pretty much got it ready to go. Uh, mold tillage equipment's leveled out. Cart is hooked to the 1042. Yeah, I think we're ready to eat some corn tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. Dad's getting a walk around. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Check the links in the description. If you need any merch, we do have some stuff still on sale at farmfocus.com, as well as the dementia awareness shirts. Those can be found at farmfocus.com. Uh, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow, <clears throat> if I can keep my voice. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to run that fence. Pretty excited to see it in action. Yeah, it's going to be a good day tomorrow. We'll see you the next.